have you ever wondered what your body type was or if you were doing the best possible styling for your body type well let's find out what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is kemi and we're delving straight into how to dress the rectangle body shape and if you do not know what body shape you belong to what body shape category the link to the body shape calculator is going to be in the description box with that being said let's delve straight into it. now today's video we're going to be dissecting how to style how to dress the rectangle body shape by way of definition of characteristics this body shape has equal bust and hip measurement and no particularly defined waist so there's no waist definition for the rectangle body shape overall the silhouette for the rectangle body shape is a straight silhouette no waist definition sometimes it, they may have large or big bust but whatever the measurement is is typically similar to their hip measurement with no particularly defined waist i hope you've been able to kind of get an idea based off of the characteristics that i just defined for the rectangle body shape now i love this body shape love all body shapes and i love the styling for the rectangle body shape our goal is to balance the volume of the bust and hips and also to aim to define their waist and kind of give the illusion of a curvy silhouette celebrity references for this particular body shape include queen latifah jenna pinkett smith jill scott kate middleton heidi klum by now you get the point you get the idea all of these beautiful ladies are shaped in the rectangular body shape now let's get straight into our goals a styling and i'm going to be starting starting from the top down to the bottom right so for the necklines the necklines that want to style this body shape include the v-neck the off shoulder the sweetheart the round neckline oval necklines all of these necklines are flattering necklines so that doesn't mean that you can't start with other necklines but the necklines that you definitely want to avoid include sabrina neckline square neckline both neck necklines the reason is that these particular necklines make you seem more rectangle and we're trying to avoid that rectangular look the sleeves what you want to focus on in terms of styling with sleeves is you want to give a style sleeve with sleeves that give you more volume like sleeves that have embellishments on them that have ruffles on them so our goal for the rectangle body shape is to add some volume to their bust area in terms of tops and bring more eyes to your waist to add more definition to your waist and make sure that you're bringing more volume to your bust area correct so with that being said some of the tops that you might want to gravitate towards will be embellished tops ruffle tops and you want to avoid fitted sleeves because it's just going to accentuate and make it obvious about the rectangle shape or the shape of the rectangle and we don't want that so we also want to avoid boxy tops as well that's just going to make you seem more top heavy so we're avoiding boxy tops for sleeves we're avoiding fitted sleeves right so for sleeves we want to gravitate towards embellished sleeves ruffled sleeves or for loose or wide sleeves any of those sleeves are definitely flatter they bring eyes to your waist and add more volume to your bust for jeans we want to go to we want to stick to minimal flared jeans we don't want an overly flared jeans we're not doing that so minimal flared jeans is definitely going to get the job done those should be like the most flattering jeans for the rectangle body shape because they kind of balance out the hips with the minimal flare not a lot of flare just minimal we are avoiding extreme flare for our jeans for pants we want to stick to like pants that are styled in you know with jogger bottoms boot cut or cargo pants those pants i noticed are very flattering on the rectangle body shape they balance out the silhouettes and get the job done so for skirts we want to stick to airline skirts pleated skirts full skirts those are the skirts that you should definitely get your hands on once you're shopping and you need an idea if you are this body shape you want to definitely gravitate towards anything a-line pleated full skirts are definitely good options also pencil skirts as well are also favorable for this body shape the beard that in mind pencil skirts are also a go-to as well for this body shape. for shorts we want to avoid low-rise shirts we want to avoid uh baggy shorts we also want to avoid any shorts that is loose or flare kind of like you know 
the way we look for pants or we look for jeans you kind of want to stick to that same criteria and dimension when shopping this is that we want to avoid of course boxy dresses anything boxy just just run away from it if it's boxy we don't want it right so if it's boxy if it's straight just opt out of it if it's boxy or straight you definitely don't want to do it up for dresses that are fitted cinched especially in the weight in the waist area and kind of add more volume to the bottom area if that makes sense so definitely gravitate towards any dress that you notice that you know defines your waist more adds more volume to your hips yes those are the dresses that you should gravitate towards for dresses we definitely want to do empire dresses just because they make sure that your waist is more defined so we want to do empire dresses we want to do princess dresses and we want to do anything belted off shoulder dresses of course wrap dresses wrap dresses i i are very flattering for this body type i love wrap dresses if you do not have a wrap dress in your wardrobe i suggest you get in now yes, of course with the same goal in mind we want to emphasize the waistline for a jacket so if we're getting a jacket we're making sure that it's a belted jacket we're making sure that it's also long and structured to cinch the waist also peplum and any single breasted uh, jacket is also a great idea and you can also gravitate towards peplum tops as well with that being said we want to avoid crop jackets because they make you seem more boxy so we're not doing crop jackets not doing that at all overall all of this information is just a guide as to how best to style your body shape and the items that are the most flattering for your body type so make sure to style your body in the most flattering manner and for your day-to-day -day lifestyle i hope you were able to get one or two things from this video if this video was helpful to you don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel for more content related to fashion fitness weight loss in particular and just chit chat as well on motivation and building a healthy productive adult life with that being said i'll see you in my next video Booyah!